Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video and a small update when it comes to racing rivals. So obviously Rush Racing 2 is stupid. Nobody should support that project. It's it's stupid with lying developers and the people that follow f that goddamn game are idiots. Um Okay, saying it that way makes it sound really bad. People who believe the things that those developers say are idiots. But as you can see here, I'm not going to actually make this public yet for download. But uh, I finally found a way to upload the Racing Rivals asset server to share with the world. So it doesn't have to be stuck on my computer here. Um, actually, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. Give me one sec. So while it's shitty to see and read because I'm using simulated uh, sh simulated resolution and you can't do snipping tool or print screen with simulated resolution without getting it shitty like this, um, this one folder alone is 312 gigabytes of data for racing rivals that I downloaded before it shut down. This is the entire Amazon based uh, asset server from like a month before the game shut down. So this is everything that was on that server, hands down, nothing missing except user avatars. I downloaded everything and made sure the script was running 24 seven that I had coded to do this. 1,724,140 files with 5,789,441 folders at 312 gigabytes. That's how big this was. Good lord, my internet was terrible at the time. I don't know how I downloaded this. <laughs> but the release that's coming is just the first release. So everybody knows that there's there were multiple versions of Racing Rivals, and there were multiple versions of it not only released as far as like updates and changes to the game and additions to the game, but there were also different versions as far as what platform they were on. So whether it was iOS was first, Android came second, and what a lot of people didn't know about was Facebook. Racing Rivals was on Facebook. And the developers shut it down. I don't remember if it was after the acquisition by Glue Mobile or before, but their reasoning for its shutdown was too many hackers, quote unquote, and that's just bullshit. Um, at the time, Unity 3D hacking was not what it is now, and people were definitely not hacking the shit uh, at that time. So what I wanted to show you today is what is in these files that I have uploaded finally to give you guys. I'm going to start with the smaller one first, the 22 megabyte one. So FBRR client, so client folder. Um, there's the cross domain XML, which is very important to have. Then there's racing rivals. There's the Unity 3D script file, which a custom Unity 3D file player is going to be needed if you want this original script file to work. But then there's also a bunch of dumped stuff like HTML, fi uh, HTML files, some server stuff. Um, as you can see, just for the game to work, you do need these files. Oh my God, this is why there's so many folders. Then there's, you know, obviously the live folder and the beta folder, which I wish I would have known about while the game was up and running. There's also some uh, JavaScript stuff. There's some raw stuff. I don't know what that stuff is specifically. And then there's like the CIE logo, which, oh man, that seems so good to see. Close that. And obviously this. So here, let me actually go through it here. So the cross domain, that's gonna open up on a different window. So basically, this is just your standard XML cross domain file uh, that tells it how to, you know, access the files and stuff like that and what's allowed to access the files. 
If you go into Racing Rivals itself, there's the Web Unity 3D file, which you can't really do much with, I will admit. You can try opening it this way, and this will tell you what version of Unity was used for making the game, and you can understand why it was so laggy now, because, duh, Unity 4.5. But again, the game came out in 2014, I'm pretty sure. don't think yeah you won't find anything that way in here it does actually have to be dumped which the files to do that do not come with this or the programs to do that do not come with this but there is the full HTML here for how this stuff was supposed to work you can see examples of how it worked right here the servers are gone unfortunately I have tried if you go to this server you get access denied because it doesn't and it doesn't exist anymore at least I'm gonna double check because that's actually a different response than last time yeah so access denied access denied they have since locked it entirely, and nothing can view that server. Nothing can view the files that are even on that server. Not that I think there even are any left, and I think the files just don't exist for them anymore, at least publicly. And then next off, there's this really big file that's going to take a long time for people to download. It's 36.2 gigabytes of stuff. And what I'm going to do is pull this up real quick and have that running over here so you can just see how much is in here and the sheer size of it when it's decompressed. So this is your actual asset server. This will basically, this is all the files up to this. I actually need to add to this, I just realized. But there's the Win32, Mac, iOS, Android. And for some odd reason, um, these are the files that need to exist on the server. I don't know why. I don't know why everything all the way back to 1.0 has to be there. It's stupid. But then this is the actual asset server to get the files working. And as you can see, there's 4,076 images in here alone. A little stupid. Uh, there's the starter pack images, which there's a ton of stuff in here. User avatars. I do have some. Uh, some car stuff. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, that car was never seen, I think, by the public. Car make stuff, the logos for cars, car make and model, car make logos, updated stuff, some of the car files, car wraps, some category stuff pretty much anything you would need to actually run the server some of it is here the rest of it this is just a starter file basically that'll get you started and that's it um a lot of the rest of the stuff you need is out here in this 312 gigs of data so i do have a quote-unquote working server um as you can see here's the server files this is the working CDN that I'm slowly putting together. Um, this is five gigs right here. As you can see, it's for 7.3.0. There's the assets for Android right here. Assets 7.0 right here. The language packs are here. The actual car files are right here. This stuff is ridiculously terribly organized. Um, oops. And then you go back I'm still working on that it's ridiculous and then this is some source code a friend of mine actually wrote that I thought I lost I'm very happy I'm making this video right now to explain this stuff because it's been found so actually what you can see here is this is an API he started writing he reverse engineered a lot of the stuff like the MD5 secret key the version uh, check and on top of that, actually getting the game to basically get to the point where login will work 
But after that, because of all this crap data right here, we can't get login to work. Or at least we didn't have enough time. I'm sure if we were still working on it, we could get it working. Basically, the only way that we actually got this to work was to just send this entire block of data. Which would look like that. That's how we got that to work. And you might be wondering, how do you even know what this is supposed to look like? And how do you know that this was here, and this is this, and this is this, and this is this? How do you even know what to actually make this? Well, because I'm sometimes smart, you see these 1KB files? These are responses and requests. So these are the files that basically the server requested, and it would actually open these up. And admin menu. Oh, my. And like as you can see, this is all the stuff that it would have needed to basically run on news. Here's Live 71. And as you can see here, so like here's Cardex. This is the hash back from the server that the server would generate. And then this is the custom cars that would be loaded in my garage. Um, on top of that, there's finished test drive. This is a modified test drive uh, with a sync request to run a test drive with a car. I basically recorded everything I could before the game shut down. And this is why this login is so long is because it's just so much data and there's so much that needs to be loaded, but we need to figure it out in order to get login working. Once logins work, once login works, the rest of it should be a breeze. Here's like uh, some record stuff. Who knows? Here's a bunch of different saves saved. Uh, that one's really big. This one's not all that bad. I need to close some of these so it's not a pain in the ass. Um, but as you can see, this gives me my money balance and stuff. So 672 coins in game. I had 45 gems. My EXP, my ticket box with ticket counts, ticket caps, cap increase purchase, and just everything for like uh, buying crates basically is in here. So this is how I knew the correct things for, or how we knew the correct things to put for getting this info. And then like here's getting the AI racer, a response from the server for an AI racer with the name of the racer, um, their car ID, which was an actual car, and then what car it was their rating and what it should run. So this is what it should run. It's somewhere near that. Engine ID with a final gear ratio and then the normal gear ratios. And this is how we knew what the code should be as far as responses. So like here's Unity in it. Um, here's Unity in it. So uh, is there a way for me to get this to like... There we go, cool. So as you can see, you have your data here, which is to the Android zip file, which is right here, which is your data in the all folder. Um, then there's the Unity asset base, which is right here. There's the static version, which is right there. There is the new CMS URL right there, the auto, enable auto RTs. I wonder what that does. RTs should be 0.4, um, local valid through, who knows how long this is, I don't know. Um, local version 52 right there. All this stuff is basically from here and then put it into a simple API code. And it was luckily that easy. It's just getting login to work because of how much there is, is very difficult. And a lot of the stuff is just stuff like this. We don't actually see what the data is supposed to be. So we got to hope that stuff is like 
up here and then like here's get boost and damage and what it should be damage is zero on that car that it recorded on here's a finish of a race with an AI and did I win did I not win who knows stay tuned um get last races for some odd reason even the folders were numbered like there's this and I think that it did come out with an extension on it I don't remember why and the data is not here for this so there is some stuff that's missing but it is possible to make the server simply because of having this stuff this is some stuff this is getting um mystery boxes and crates but again there is so much that needs recoded before i can even release this and have any sort of thing expected to work android modding tutorial and oh these are memory editors cool um that obviously i need help and i don't expect this to work but i am going back to working on 1320 challenge unity edition or whatever I'm gonna name it. So I'll check back with you guys. But uh, that download for these files should be available on techx.onl in due time. Um, and we'll go from there. If you guys are clever enough to figure out this URL, it probably won't work because I'll probably set it to private. But because I wanna get the other 300 gigs of data up here before I do any sort of release. But I wanted to let you guys know that the release is coming. And yeah, that's about it. That doesn't this doesn't mean the game's gonna work. This just means that, you know, finally other people will have these files as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the updates for Racing Rivals. And since I'm not mad during this this video, like I was the last one about guided hacking. <sighs> What question do I put at the end of my video to see who made it to 17 minutes and 25 seconds? <sighs> What's the fastest speed you've ever gone in a car? Miles per hour or kilometers per hour? It doesn't really matter. I can always convert kilometers to miles since I'm just used to miles. What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? Both. Let's see both options. While you're controlling it, if you drive and while somebody else was controlling the car what speed did they do with you in the car my answer is in my own personal car i hit just a i hit somewhere north of 130 i don't know how high above 130 but i floored it down this really steep hill near my brother's old house here in northeast ohio super steep super long hill uh good like 45 degree slant on this hill and it was about a quarter mile in length for the hill i was well over 135 or well over 130 miles per hour which is as high as my <laughs> speedometer went so i don't know what speed i was actually doing but i was over 130 miles an hour um as far as being in somebody else's car with them controlling it my friend had a Mazda RX-8 R3. He drives like a girl. No offense to girls out there, but like he drives like a girl. Um, and when he's emotional, um, a.k.a. when a girl ruins his life, because it seems to happen every other week, uh, his emotion goes to his foot. And if he's in a car, obviously that emotion transfers to gas pedal. He floored it and we hit a about 140 coming up behind a cop and i had to yell at him to slam on the brakes or we were going to fly past this cop at 140 plus so yeah interesting talk to you guys later peace out